Now, I'm going to show, I'm going to be tying this fly here. Now this is just a, as you can probably think, it's just a variant of the black panel. Uh, this one's tied with a natural tippet. The one I'm going to be tying has got the dyed orange tippet. Now this is a good duck fly pattern. It was tied for a bit of fun. Uh, God, 20 years ago. Now I'm still tying it, so I'll give you an idea how well it's, it does. Uh, now it can be tied in a curved hook as much as a standard straight hook. The hook I'm using is a Camasan. It's a B175 size 14. 14 12s, two good sizes. Uh, if you're going to use a curved hook, uh, basically the B110 from the Camasan as well. It's a good hook. Thread, just a uni thread, 80 in black. Start to the hen way down. And the way down I'm going to tie in a silver tinsel. Now it can be, you could if you haven't got silver tinsel, you can use a oval tinsel or even a wire. It's up to yourself. Now I'm just going to work my way down, come round the bend slightly, and then come back up about two mil. Then for the body, it can be dyed black peacock hair, which I've been using, and some of the other flies, or it could be seals fur or a sub dyed black. It's up to yourself. Just about lightly onto your thread, slide it up. Now this does extremely well in Ireland. Uh, this is where these are going. So just form our body with the seals fur. Do that point there. Take away the excess. First two to three turns using the tinsel as a small tag. Land them with your my nail. Don't have to be perfectly touching turns, but there we go, it's the third turn, and then we start to wind up. Get four turns of the tinsel, cross your thread nice and tight, make sure it's tied in. Turn that away. As I say, you can use a, a wire or a, a my other tinsel, even, it'll still be okay. This is what dyed. Now it's dyed in say a fluorescent orange and a touch of hot orange I dyed this myself so or you can use the natural I mean the natural is just a nice clean colour this is you can see the natural not always bright but it's got the orange in it it still works so to get the wing what I do is hold the tips of the feather just come in with the points of the scissors and take out a good dozen fibres trim it and take away the main feather leaving the wing Right, over the back, and you just want it to come by just at the, the back of the hook. I'll trim this the right length. Now, this was actually put in Trout and Salmon magazine, and it was tied up and given away as a, a gift. And uh, But the original, the one that I sent them had Jungle Cock. But to save money they didn't put jungle cock on it and it still works so you don't need to put the jungle cock on it but I'm going to do it so get yourself a dyed black or you can use a badger and that's a badger hen it's up to yourself and this is a basically a Chinese get a bit short in these hackles so there we are let's draw back some of the fluff tie it in by the tip Easiest way to get the tip of the hackles to use your I've got a small pair of hackle pliers here. You can draw back the tip. Catch it with the front of the hackle face my cell. I'm just going to put a wee bit of wax on my thread. A couple of turns down. A couple of turns up. Just slide your fingers back. There's the tip of the hackle there. You can break that off. I'm just going to use these hackle pliers again. And then wind. To wind the hackle. Just draw the fibres back. Do one turn in front of the other. Now, you know, this wee hackle, I'm only going to get three or so turns out it. Quite happy with that. Cross your thread. Make sure it's secure, tight down. Take away your hackle pliers. Always keep the thread tight. Now I'm just going to fold it back. 
and tie over the top of the stem which is tucked in the back again. Keep a hold of the thread tight and then you can break this off. And there's your, your hackle. You see this a black pen on now with the tail as a wing. I know it's, it's, it was done, it was just crazy like, but it was it worked and it does work like in this style really well, especially for duck fly. The jungle cock eye, I've got two small jungle cock eyes. I'm just gonna obtain away the fibres. Tie one individually, so one. You can use a split jungle cock if you want. On this side, a couple of turns. I'm looking from down in the top of the hook just to see they're both the same length. They look okay. It's going to be a bit more wax on my thread. Fold back these ends, tuck back the jungle cock stems. And no, obviously never pull out. I've got to break off then. Don't worry about the head, the head's it's not huge. People get obsessed by the size of the head of their fly. Don't worry about it. Just make sure your fly is well tied. Let finish. Trim that away. I trim away the stem. That's it. So on this side, just take your time. Just slip, just slip behind the jungle cock so I have to. Watch what I'm doing here. Trim away. And there we are. Basically all I've got to do now is, like for speed what I like to do, touch the head with a wee touch of super glue. For speed, this gives it a nice shiny head and dries really quick. But you've got to be really careful when you do this that you don't touch the, the feathers of the jungle cock. Just touch all the way around. That'll dry in seconds. Now, once that's dry, we can come in and then finish off with a coat of varnish all the way around. And there we are.